Today, we played a Catan combo of The Legend of the Sea Robber, Chapter 2, The Attack, combined with Fisherman of Catan. It was actually a really easy setup. It wasn't too crowded. We just had to we replace the desert with the pond. And we put the fisherman coasts on the side, just split them up, spread them out so that they were nothing was sharing. We ended up having to remove the four because we didn't have enough space. Worked really well together. The only bonus points that you use are the largest army. You will use the development cards. Um, the robber is in play. The base trade is three to one. And when you are placing your initial settlements, you place a coastal settlement on one of these three spaces, as well followed by two settlements somewhere on the mainland. Doing the attack in standalone setting, each pasture gets four bog iron tokens. Because it is standalone, you will take the friend cards from chapter one and you randomly pass them out to each player. So we each started with a friend card from chapter one and that was completely random. And other than that, like there was really nothing else different. We, we, we did go up to 16, sorry, 15 victory points and the game took about an hour and 10 minutes for the three of us. Uh, and I think that's it. So let's roll and see who, who's going to go first. Mum rolled the highest, so Mum is going to do the placement first, so we'll show you the placement. So blue will place, followed by the kids, which is red, followed by dad. And remember, these settlements will, they must, go on one of the uh, coastals. Dad will then place a second settlement kids and then mom will place two settlements kids kids will place a settlement and then dad and then dad will place one ship on his coastal and two roads kids will do the same followed by mom. So that is order of placement. Let's see who wins.
and that's game. So we did go up to 15 victory points on this one. Game took about an hour and 10 minutes. Uh, worked out pretty good, I say. Now, as you can see on the points over there, blue got left behind. And I will say, the reason for that is because I had the best numbers on the board. Eights, nines, tens, fives, nines, eights. The entire game rolled twos, threes, and elevens. So dad cleaned up over here on the pond. That was, that was literally, that only way he went. And you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 with the victory points and six, 15, 60, wherever I was. Because we were going to 15. Right, 15, I, th that 15, 16 for largest I, army. But I drew the boot. He had the boot. So I had to get one. From the fisherman. With all that from the pond. So it makes sense that I got the boot. So, good combo. Thumbs up, Lily? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ryder lost. They were really close, so he kind of took off on us. But um, overall, it was, a, it was a good combination. And easy, because Fisherman does not have a lot of pieces, and Sea Rubber does. So it, it worked, and the board is not too crowded. So that's it. Keep playing, and have fun. Mm -hmm.